Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gabac USA. In this video, we're going to talk about Helium hard drives versus the normal hard drives. So here I'm going to tell you the main features and I'm going to show you later on, I have them over there, the hard drives. So that way you can see the, the regular hard drive versus the Helium one. Usually these kind of hard drives, they are better and they have a nice feature that you're not going to see in the other ones. So the, num the number one thing will be that they are lighter. So that is a good thing. L let's say that maybe you have a server with a lot of hard drives and if you have to move it from one place to another one, uh, it, it will be a big factor. So if you have maybe 50 hard drives or 20 hard drives or something like that, usually when you start piling them up, you're going to uh, see the, that, that issue. So they weigh less, they use less metal because uh, because the, um, the platters inside, usually they are thinner. And the good thing about because they are thinner is they, they can add more uh, more platters inside and that will bring more capacity in the hard drive. So like I wrote here, thinner platters, more capacity. Usually the regular hard drive, they have a fly, a five platters and the one that are with helium, they have seven. And surely in the future, maybe they can add more. Um, it, it depends on the generation. Surely they will, they will be uh, improving the the model and everything all the time. So they, they are cheaper to make because you're going to use less ma uh, materials in this case. And uh, I'm going to tell you later on why they are a, a more expensive later on. But at least when you have a, when you have to use less platter, I mean, less material, this metal in the platters, uh, you are going to be saving few pennies, but if you multiply for thousands of units, surely you will be making a difference. So the next uh, feature will be power efficient with the motor because the platter is thinner. You need you need less horsepower. <laughs> in this case, you need less power in uh, to to spin them up. So that is a, a good thing. Also, it will be using less uh, energy. So the good thing, if you're wondering, well, if I buy one hard drive, I don't care if you use maybe one or two watts more or, or whatever else. Uh, yeah, but if you're going to think in a data center, they're 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 not going to buy two or three, they're going to buy hundreds and hundreds of hard drives. So the less energy they, they use, the more money they're going to make because of course the, of the difference, they are going to make more profit. Also, another thing that you are going to keep, that you have to keep in mind in the, the, the data centers, when you use less energy, usually you're going to produce less heat. And also you are going to have a, a huge savings I mean, if, if you have hundreds or thousands of thousands of, of these uh, hard drives also with everything else. I mean, with, with if you have servers that are very power efficient, they're going to generate less heat and, and all those things. So um, when you have the, the helium, because it's lighter than the air, uh, you're going to have less friction, less turbulence and less vibration. So that will be everything all those things are going to be or is going to be a big factor to extend the life expectancy of the hard drive so that is a very good thing the the second point would be they're going to be maybe a little bit more expensive to to make because they seal so uh, if the if the helium is out of the hard drive, so it will become like any other hard drive, and that, um, maybe the hard, and surely the hard drive will will start having some uh, technical difficulties. So I'm going to show you a regular hard drive, so that way you can see and you will appreciate what what I'm saying. So for instance, this one is a IDE. So this is very old hard drive. So you can see this is the the seal that you're going to see. So that is why I don't recommend you to open up a hard drive because once you do that, uh, all the particles will start coming in and it will damage whatever you have in inside. I mean, uh, the, you're going to be less likely to re retrieve the, the data. So that is very important. So as you can see, this just metal, I mean, metal in the base, metal here, I mean, I mean in the, on the cover, just maybe a seal with a rubber, rubber band or something like that, and that's it. So here I'm going to show you now 
The other one, so here I have a um, notebook. Uh, this you will see the seal as well. So it's different size. In this case, it's a SATA. So basically, it's the same one like the other one. And now, lastly, uh, lastly I'm going to show you this the, um, the Seagate. So this, in this case, we have 10 terabytes. And as you can see, the, the seal is completely different like the other ones. So it, this is very well sealed because of, of that. And also another thing that you have to keep in mind, because some people were saying in some comments, hey, no, but Seagate maybe is a bad brand or, uh, and all those things. So I just took it out of the um, anti-static bag. And as you can see, a few fingerprints and those are not mine so uh, i'm going to ask because i bought these uh, hard drives on amazon so I, I i want to know why i want to ask the seller why do i have uh, you know the fingerprint because when these hard drives they come out from the factory uh, they should use gloves <laughs> at least like like me so that way uh, you you should not see any a fingerprint or anything like that because maybe they are a refurbish or maybe something uh, like that and also another thing that you have to keep in mind is i i told this story before but i seen like one hard drive was dropped maybe 20 inches or 30 inches from the floor and after that i tried the the, the drive and it was working fine no problem i said well maybe it survived so after a while after a couple months or something like that i don't remember well it was a long time ago i uh, started failing um it was it wasn't surprising to me I, I, I mean i was expecting something like that i will say I, I was thinking well i don't know how how long it's going to to last the the hard drive but i'm going to show you something that i i i didn't uh, tell you or maybe you didn't uh, realize but if you see here it says the product warranty product warranty void if a seal or label is removed or if the drive experienced excessive shocks so what i'm, I'm saying is <laughs> I, this the same thing with this story maybe, maybe you have the, the drive here and then i don't know for some reason you drop it on the floor or something like that and then you know you bought it or i don't know like i mentioned before why this hard drive it has the fingerprints uh, i don't know if, if someone dropped the, the the drives also these they this drive they they came in using fedex so i don't know if they dropped the box or whatever so whatever happens on on the way from the manufacturer to here i don't know i, I don't know how, how long it's going to last this hard drive hopefully they will last many many years so the good thing about this uh, hard drive if i if i if you see in the specs it says the meanwhile time failure before failure is 2.5 million hours so it's like 200 80 258 uh, years so <laughs> that's a lot of time and um, if it lasts that long amazing if it doesn't last okay i have a, i have a, another one so that is what i was saying with this kind of hard drives so if you if you are going to have just one uh, okay that i mean it depends what you have to do but let's say in this case i'm going to use it for a backup for my nas so that way i i, I can back up all my videos and everything and i'll be using maybe one or two uh, drives and it depends on the rate that you you want to use let's say if you want rate zero or rate one so if you are going to use mirroring the best should because just in case if one drive fails or something like that, you know, the, the information is duplicated. You never have information until you have it like two or three times. Never put all the information in one time because something happens in the middle and you will lose all the, the information. So that is very basic uh, with this. So I don't care if one drive uh, dies. Um, um, because I'm going to have uh, duplicated the information, everything, e everywhere. And this hard drive, usually they have like a five year warranty. The, the regular hard drive, they have maybe one year, maybe two years, three years. Usually uh, this brand, 
I mean, I had good experience in the past and other people may say no, but like I mentioned before, it depends. If, if you buy the, the hard drives and the guy from the FedEx, they drop the box and you bought like 10 or 20 and you, you will be thinking, well, I bought Western, Western Digital. Oh, but and they broke, you know, and they break maybe in a, in a year or something like that. You will be thinking, oh, Western, Western Digital is bad or Seagate is bad or, or whatever else is bad because you had a, a bad experience. Uh, like I mentioned before, before usually this, this brand, they are good. Um, make your experience, of course, try to buy from different vendors and see which one lasts the, the longest. And, may, um, and let me know in the comment in the section below. So if, if you want to get your Comptia A certification, remember I sell the, the classes on my website, kabakusa.com. Also, uh, that way when you go to get a job or something like that, the more certification you have, the better you're going to stand out from the crowd. Thank you for everything and see you next class. Bye.